Welcome back. The news that is coming in from Kapashwara. Prashant Bhushan, Yogendra Yadav have been given the sack from the Aam Aadmi Party's National Executive. But the minute that they have come out, they have left the National Executive and come and leveled serious allegations where the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned. Undemocratic. Violence was used. Gundagiri. Words such as this, which few would have thought would have been associated with the Aam Aadmi Party today, allegations made by people within the Aam Aadmi Party on their fellow mates, their colleagues. I want to cut across to Ankit Yagi, but right before that, we want to go to Yogendra Yadav. Minutes after he and Prashant Bhushan walked out of the Aam Aadmi Party National Council, said that today was the day democracy died where the Aam Aadmi Party functioning is concerned. Let's listen in to that reaction and then we go down to our reporters. Inside the meeting, was a mockery of any democratic norm. As we know, right since the morning, the, the Lokpal was not in, allowed to come in. And now we know why. Because he would have witnessed what we were going to, what was happening here. The movement, the entire thing was pre-scripted. As Arvind started speaking, Many of the supporters started shouting. These were led by Kapil Mishra and Nitin Tyagi, the two MLAs. They started shouting in between Arvind's meeting, Gaddaron ko bahar karo. They started rushing towards Shanti Bhushanji when his name was mentioned. At that point, some people said, no, that's not acceptable. The entire house was disordered. It, Arvind Bhai started speaking again. And then... He said he wants to resign. He said something. Again, a pre-scripted drama was played out. Ramzan Chaudhary is here. He is a member of the National Council. He was dragged out of the room by bouncers who had actually kicked him. That was physically enacted. There was another colleague here from Haryana. He was also beaten up. And then Arvind stopped his, ended his speech and said, I want Gopal Rai to preside over the meeting. People from the floor stood up and said, we are opposed to it. But Gopal Rai said, I'm presiding. And immediately after that, Manish Sisodia grabbed the stage and said, I'm reading out a resolution against Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan, Arvind, uh, Anand Kumar and Ajit Jha. We said, please allow us to respond the chair kept looking blankly at us. We said, please have a secret vote. The chair kept looking blankly at us. We said, we have objections to this. There should be some discussion. The chair was blank and we said, this is not acceptable. We were being booed, heckled. Sir, did Arvind intervene when all this was happening? Did Arvind intervene even once? No. In fact, the whole thing was pre-scripted. Arvind stood there pretending to be helpless and his MLAs were actually doing this booing, roughing, pushing and there were boxers in the, in the hall who are not from the party. They were asked to beat them up. This is what has happened. All right, so in terms of voting, how did it go down? where Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav were given the sack from the National Executive. 298 members in all, National Council present in the meet. 230 supported the resolution to sack Yogendra Yadav and uh, Prashant Bhushan. Eight of them abstained. 60 opposed the resolution stood by Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan. But as Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan are stating, something sinister went down behind those doors of Kalista Farmhouse in Kapashera, which was completely undemocratic violence was used if somebody got up and expressed dissent he was dragged out by bouncers and beaten up these are the charges leveled by people within the Ahmadmi party the founding members of the Ahmadmi party questions that need to be answered by the likes of Ahmadmi party convener Arwin Kejriwal because today he will speak or should speak rather in the capacity of the convener of his party than the chief minister but refusing to say a word. The cavalcade 
of Arvind K. Jriwal comes in, moves into his house. He refuses to say a word on what has gone down in Kalista Farms at Papa Questions will be asked of Arvind K. Jriwal till now. He's maintained a complete silence on the issue. But uh, today, he needs to answer these questions. Questions put forth by the founding members of the Aam Aadmi Party. Today, they might not see eye to eye today. Yogendra Yadav or Prashant Bhushan might not be members of the national executive as well. As 20 minutes back, they were given the sack. But they have leveled grave charges on the un allegedly the undemocratic process that went down behind those closed doors of Kalista Farms at the National Council. This is Arvind Kejriwal's cavalcade. To give our viewers perspective on what went down, the National Council meeting began. Arvind Kejriwal spoke in the capacity of party convener. After that, he handed the reins for chairperson of the meeting to Gopal Rai. There was word that the meeting would have been chaired by Kumar Vishwas. It was not to be. The chairperson was Gopal Rai, which apparently was objected to, which was objected to, but uh, was not adhered at all. And after that, a resolution was moved by Manish Sisodia. And then it was decided that uh, 230 votes went in favor of that resolution, 8 people abstained and 60 went in uh, support of Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan. But what is most worrisome at this point of time and something that needs to be answered by the Aam Aadmi Party and that is whether or not violence was used. Apparently, there were bouncers inside the National Council meeting, people who showed dissent were dragged out, kicked and beaten up. I want to cut across to Ankit Tyagi at this point of time at Kapo Shera. He's reporting on the story, getting us breaking news as it develops. Ankit, Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan given the sack, but what is most, most engaging at this point of time and disturbing at the same is that violence was used when people tried to show dissent during the council meet. That's the allegation as of now, Preeti. Uh, we will have to wait and uh, hear from the other side whether uh, they uh, whether anything of this sort took place. But let me first give you the correct numbers and what inside uh, happened inside. Uh, total 298 members were present inside the meeting. Uh, 167 members signed this petition and moved for the for the ouster of Jogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan, Professor Anand Kumar, and Ajit Jha. Four names were given to be sacked from the national executive. This resolution was read by Manish Sisodia, Deputy Chief Minister of uh, Delhi and very close aide of Arvind Kejriwal. Chairing the meeting was Gopal Rai. After the resolution was moved, the, 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 the chairperson of the meeting asked for the show of hands. After that, the correct figure that has come out is 280 supported this resolution. Eight people abstained from this and 10 voted against the resolution out of okay. the 298 those who were present. So it was an overwhelming majority. Right when uh, this show of hands was going on, right. Jogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan moved out in protest saying that we are not allowed to speak. They came out. They also asked the chair uh, to let uh, the members listen to their side of the version. Uh, then few right. members also you objected know, saying that uh, they... Ankit, can you give us the numbers again, please? Can you take us through the numbers again? Because now, uh, contrary to what the numbers that were filtering in earlier, it seems there was brute majority in favor of Arvind Kejriwal. Contrary to the number of 60 people voting in favor of Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan, the numbers are very different. Can you give us the numbers again, please? Absolutely. Let me re repeat it for our viewers. 298 was the total strength today, out of which... 280 supported the resolution moved by Manish Sisodia, which had 167 signatures, which demanded, which demanded the ouster of Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan, Ajit Jha and Professor Anand Kumar. Four people who have been ousted from the national executive. Eight out of 298 abstained and 10 people voted in favor in, uh, against the motion. So it has been a brute majority. It was done by show of hands. But a caveat there, Preeti, uh, Yogendra Yadav camp has in fact raised question on this show of hands. They said that uh, nobody was allowed to speak. There was heckling inside. Arvind Kejriwal did not even had the courtesy to ask the volunteers and the MLAs. He named two MLAs, Nitin Tyagi and Kapil Mishra, those who were creating uh, the pandemonium inside. He did not stop them. They also raised question on why Manish Sisoda 
Sodia was allowed by the chair and nobody from the opposing side. So despite the pandemonium, the picture right now is Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan, Professor Anand Kumar and Ajit Jha. All, the, all of those, those who were yesterday opposed to Kejriwal camp have been sacked from the national executive of the party uh, with a brute majority, 280 to 10 with 8 abstaining. Now, the next, uh, the, the, uh, the, all of uh, Yogendra Yadav, in fact, moved out in protest along with few people. He made some serious allegations. The other side has not yet spoken. I have been told that Sanjay Singh, Kumar Vishwas and Manish Sisodia are going to come out and speak. They have also said uh, the National Council, those who have moved out, can go, but the Council's meeting will proceed as per the plan. You know, Ankit, do stay on with us. So now that's how the numbers stack down and completely wrought in favor of Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan. Mere 10, 10 votes to support the duo while a thumping brute majority in favor of Arvind Kejriwal supporters. Now what went down also is to the effect that uh, Arvind Kejriwal's opening speech uh, as alleged by Yogendra Yadav was less like that of a party convener and more of someone who was targeting people within the party. But those are allegations. They need to be corroborated by actual eyewitness accounts and of course also the side of the Kejriwal camp. And as Ankit is pointing out, uh, Kumar Vishwas and Sanjay Singh would be coming out and addressing the media soon on what transpired inside. Continuous coverage on the dramatic developments that are taking place where the Ahmadmi party is concerned behind those closed doors. Ankit Tyagi reporting on the story, getting us breaking news on each development. A quick break to stay with us. We are back with the latest. Well, you are with the latest on headlines today. Yogendra Yadav Prashant Bhushan given the sack from the national executive but going down kicking and screaming and making very, very grave allegations where the Ahmadmi party is concerned, saying that the National Council was undemocratic. People were kicked and beaten up when they tried to show dissent. But this has now been countered by Ashutosh from the Ahmadmi party. And he's uh, quickly taken to tweeting to try and defend the Ahmadmi party, the Kejriwal camp. Ashutosh has tweeted a short while back, and I want to take our viewers through those series of tweets. He started off with saying, Media should not buy a cooked-up story of manhandling and presence of bouncers. Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan are spreading lies. He further goes on to say, Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan should respect the verdict of the highest decision-making body of the party if they believe in internal democracy. Then he says, only a dozen members opposed proposal to expel them from the national executive and a few walked out with Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan. But he has gone and stated that there was no violence, there was no manhandling and there were no bouncers. These are all surreptitious charges leveled by Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan. Ankit is on the ground. He's going to try and get us a larger perspective on what went down inside. Ankit, you know, the leveling of charges which we've seen in the last couple of weeks continues yogendra yadav prashant bhushan walk out say, said it was undemocratic people were beaten up manhandled literally kicked out of the national executive right after that ashutosh comes says these are cooked up stories no bouncers everybody is spreading lies can you give us uh, exactly what went down because of course right now there are two sides of the story but all of this must have been video recorded ankit that's right, uh, Preeti. In fact, uh, this is what uh, the Amadni Party, uh, in fact, is going to do now. Yesterday, Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav had demanded that a videography of this entire event should be done. The party has done that. They are saying that we have video evidence that nobody was pushed or beaten. I spoke to Asutosh after the tweet also, and he has categorically told me that it is absolute lie. La going with the way the party has been going and both the factions were going, both of them ch uh, making charges and counter charges on each other. It will now be, uh, we'll have to wait and see whether that video is made public so that we can see for ourselves whether any sort of violence took place. As far as the resolution to oust four people, not two, right. Yogendra Yadav, Prashant Bhushan, Professor Anand Kumar and Ajit Jha is concerned, 167 people signed a petition that was presented in the National Council meeting by Manish Sisodia, Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi. After that, show of hands was asked. There was a lot of melee. There was pandemonium. Prashant Bhushan, Yogendra Yadav walked out uh, in, okay. in protest. 
they said why Manish Sisodia has been given a chance to speak. Okay. But the total, the final figure that has come down to us is out of 298 valid okay. votes, 280 have uh, supported the resolution, 8 have abstained okay. and 10 have voted again. You know, Ankit, we're going to go into a quick break. We're going to come right back to you. But just quickly tell us, are we expecting a second resolution of ousting both of them from the party also? Well, uh, the National Council cannot uh, oust them from the uh, party, but yes, our resolution yes. is very much on the card. The meeting is still going on. We are expecting a resolution okay. uh, for them to be ousted and their matter to be referred to the disciplinary committee. To a disciplinary committee. committee. All right. Appreciate you joining us, Ankit. So, the second resolution that we were looking at would probably now uh, be mooted as well of ousting both of them, the duo, out of the Ahmadmi party itself. Of course, that in fact will be referred to a disciplinary committee. That's a long drawn process. But our story continues, getting you the very latest Ankit Tyagi breaking news on headlines today, giving us the actual figures on what went against and for Prashant Bhushan and the Yogendra Yadav. Well, right now, they are sacked from the National Executive. Stay with us. Back with the news.